Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at the all new light collection from Bellroy. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rushed Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, you're interested in this sort of thing, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and also subscribing to our newsletter. But let's dive right in and check out the all new Bellroy light collection. Now the Bellroy Light Range is a series of lightweight bags that is Bellroy's take on playful, packable and adventure ready bags. And in this video we'll be taking a look at all of the bags from this range, the Light Day Pack, the Light Sling, Light Duffel and the Light Tote. Okay so kicking off with the Light Day Pack. Now the Light Collection features a diamond ripstop, a textured diamond ripstop which is three times lighter than any other material that Bellroy have used in their bags. It's durable, water water resistant and also made of 100% recycled PET plastic bottles. Now in terms of the colours that you can get the light range in at the moment, there is chalk which is this white colourway which is what we've got here today and there's also shadow which is a more darker black colourway. There is also a combination of YKK zippers as well as YKK water resistant zippers and Wujin and Duraflex hardware. Now those materials are across the entire range so each bag in this series does feature the same materials and same hardware sets. Despite being a smaller looking bag, it's boasting a 20 litre volume capacity. Now on the front face of the bag, we've got the Bellroy brand tab there. You can actually see a little bit of an outline in that fabric there. You can see the Bellroy brand patch sewn in underneath there. That's how light this material is here. And then we've also got a little bike light loop that you can attach any accessories, but also a bike light. Turning to the back of the bag, we've got a fairly padded harness system. We've got thick air mesh padding on the back here, and you can see that spacer mesh wicking to help wick away any moisture and also provide good breathability. We've also got lightly padded. It's got that same sort of air mesh wicking, but not as padded as the back panel, and curved shoulder straps here, so they can curve and ergonomically fit around your body when you're carrying it. You can see another little Bellroy Owl logo there, a little loop here for further accessorization. And then we've also got a really lightweight sternum strap here and three loops of adjustment here so that you can better position your sternum strap. It's knotted on there, so if you don't want to use it, you want to just stow it away somewhere in the bag or anything like that, you can simply unknot it and then take it off, stow it away, and it's nice and streamlined. At the bottom of the bag, we've got simple Duraflex ladder locks, and then we've also got some strap management here to manage that strap slack. At the top of the bag, simple nylon haul handle here, and it's got this nice texture to it, nice little patterning on that little strap there, which is really nice. Now, in terms of the compartments of the bag, we've got two compartments, our main compartment here, and then we've also got a a quick access compartment at the top here and you can see there's that water resistant zipper there. On both sides we've also got these little pull tabs here that you can have just better control of this zipper here. It's kind of like a bit of a counter pull so to speak but you can also clip on accessories on if you want to as well. Another thing that you'll notice on these zipper pulls is the heat shrink tubing there which just is a nice way to get better grip on those zippers and just give it a bit more durability. This compartment is a very shallow quick access compartment so I've just got a Bellroy flip case for some cards as well as my Master and Dynamic MW08 wireless earphones. As you can see, very shallow compartment here. You can't fit too much in there. You could probably fit a mobile phone as well, but not a whole lot that you can store inside there. Getting into the main compartment, we have this U-shape opening there. We've got YKK zippers. They're not water resistant because they have this weather flap on top there just to protect the zipper. We've got the same heat shrink tubing there. One small little detail, design detail that you might not notice at first is this little texturing underneath that weather flap there next to the zipper part. It's very subtle, but it's got that same sort of patterning as we did on the hall handle there. So just a nice bit of design in this bag as well. Those small little touch point elements. So opening the bag up with this U-shape opening, taking some things out, I've got a Zorali fleece here, which is a really comfortable fleece. I've also got a Moment Travel Wear cable organizer for my tech. And then we've got some pocketing here that allows you to just individually store smaller items. So we've got a stretch water bottle pocket here, which I've just got a Stanley travel mug. And we have another pocket here, which I have a Knox Provisions monocular. And then a zippered pocket here for smaller items. I've got a nimble portable battery bank. And there is also a little key leash, a stretchy key leash that you can attach your keys to. So I've just got my orbit key attached there. That's pretty much it for the organization. Just behind that there is a document sleeve. 
So this sleeve actually goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. It slightly shapes a bit more towards the end there. So you can't really fit a laptop inside there. And if you wanted to fit a laptop inside there, it'd probably be a 12 inch or 11 inch laptop. And you would have to use a protective laptop case or laptop sleeve to protect that device if you were to put it in there. Because there is not much structure in this bag. It's actually pretty hard to get things inside that back area there because it's a very foldable bag. So no structure behind there. And if you were to put a notebook or maybe some loose papers, you could do that, but just be cautious that there is not much structure in the bag. So that is the light day pack. Again, very capable at 20 liters of volume capacity and can be rolled down or packed down, put inside some rolling luggage or suitcase, whatever you want, and then you can take it out when you're going traveling. Very useful. Okay, next up we have the light sling. Features all the same materials and hardware. So that diamond ripstop as well as Wujin hardware, YKK zippers. This sling is a seven liter sling bag. So similar volume capacity as the Bellroy sling but it also takes the design elements from the Bellroy Venture Sling. So we'll take a look at those later. As you can see on the front here, Bellroy branding here, and you can see the outline of that brand patch sewn into the fabric of the bag. We've also got that same little bike light accessory loop there. And then on the back of the bag, very similar design aspects to the Bellroy Venture Sling. We've got a Wujin Fidlock buckle there for easy detaching and attaching. And then we've got that same textured strap there with the nice patterning very nice to the touch, very premium. You've got a little plastic adjuster there to help you adjust the tension of that carry strap. Now looking into the compartments again, we've got two zippered compartments, one on the front here, then our main one, which actually has the water resistant zipper path. So just the one on the front here, good for quick access, storing small items. So you can see there's got that key tether there, which you attach your keys to, and then two slip pockets for you to add more accessories. So I've got my Bellroy flip case in that little pocket and then there's another pocket there which you can also add something in there if you want. As for the zipper on the main compartment you can see two zipper paths and they're actually on both ends of the zipper path so it's actually an inverted zipper you can open it either side. This is especially handy because it allows for sling the bag either on the left side or the right side whichever way you sling the bag around you can open it from the more comfortable position and you can have access to your gear. So just taking a look in here, I've got some Sunski polarized sunglasses, got that Stanley water bottle there, got an Oz Air face mask, and here there's a little pouch here, a little pocket here for you to store small items. So I've got the wireless earphones in there. And then at the back here, we have another zippered compartment I've just got an iPhone 12 with a moment case as well as some field notes. Again, very lightweight at only 220 grams, still very functional and has a lot of durable materials. Next up, we have the light tote. Now this is a 15 liter tote bag that is really lightweight at 235 grams. Again, this can be rolled up, folded up, packed away inside some luggage or a duffel if you're going traveling. And it features again that same textured diamond ripstop as well as some of the materials and hardware. In terms of the design here, it's very simple. We've got that Bellroy brand tab at the front there. No other details on the front exterior. And then on the back of the tote, we've got the Bellroy Owl logo there. And then interestingly, we have some contrast stitching here just to add a bit of flair and style. We've got that orange stitching, which is consistent with the rest of the coloring in this bag. We've got two very lightweight tote straps here. Again, using that same patterning and that same texture on the other straps that we've seen throughout this collection. Now getting into the main compartment, we've got that water resistant zipper there, as well as the heat shrink tubing on the zipper pull. And then you can see around the zipper path here, we've got this little structure, this little flap here that gives you a bit of rigidity for the zipper path and also allows you to have some control over opening and closing this little compartment. Now when we open up the zipper, we have full visibility inside the main compartment. Just getting some things out. I've got an Arc'teryx Atom hoodie. I've also got a Patagonia torrent shell jacket in case it rains. And then in the middle, just got that water bottle. It would have been nice to maybe see a little water bottle pocket on the side there, just so that you can better organize some of your gear. And then if we take a look at the back here, we've got a separated zipper compartment that's at the top here. So it's away from the crush area of everything you've got inside this main compartment. And then you can see two little loops here, two little tabs that you can add on accessories, maybe a carabiner, maybe you could hook in something else if you wanted to. But inside there, I've just got some essentials. I've got the Bellroy flip case, as well as my mobile phone. And then we've got that key leash with my Orbit key on it. 
So again, very simple organization, 15 liters of volume capacity, very light at 235 grams, and perfect if you wanna just store some things in there, take it out for a day trip, or just carry your groceries when you need it. Okay, so here we have the light duffel. This is a 30 liter duffel bag. So again, lots of capacity to store your gear. This is great for a small little weekend trip or as a gym duffel. And again, it features all the same materials and hardware that we've seen in the other bags. On the front, again, we have that very subtle Bellroy brand tab there sewn into the bag. And then at the top, we've got these carry straps here that are slightly padded, so they're thicker than your average haul handle. And for good reason, because these are duffel straps here, and they have that same little texturing, that patterning that we've seen on the other straps. On the back of the bag, nothing here, no pocketing or anything like that, but you can see these little loops here, one over here, and then one down here. These are loops to attach the carry strap, the shoulder strap here. So we have this nice shoulder strap that you can attach on via these gatekeeper clips, these Duraflex gatekeeper clips, and they have this air mesh wicking. So it's relatively padded and will be comfortable and it can curve along your shoulder when you're carrying it. And then you can see a little bit of Bellroy branding there as well. Okay, so now getting into the compartments of the bag. Again, two zippered compartments, one quick access on the front here, two little slip pockets for you to organize gear. So I've got my phone in one, face mask, as well, and then Bellroy flip case and wireless earphones in the other one. So just two little slip pockets for you to organize those smaller items. And then there is also a little key leash there that you can attach your keys to. Very simple organization there, and both of these zippers actually feature that water resistant zipper. Now getting into the main compartment, as you can see, we've got that same inverted zipper orientation that we saw in the sling bag. So you can open it on either side and get full visibility inside the main compartment there. You can see these flaps actually open out so you can get really great access into that main compartment. So getting some stuff out, I've got the Arc'teryx Atom Lightweight Jacket there. I've also got some Western Rise tracksuit pants here and then I've got a Peak Design small packing cube just to store some extra clothes. I've got some Unico Naglev hiking shoes and then I've also got on the side here in this little pouch a 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle. That same pouch is on the other side as well, so it's mirrored. And then on the sides here, we've also got two little slip pockets that you can store toiletries, any other essentials. They're especially helpful for toiletries if you're going to the gym. So I've got quick dry towel from Matador as well as some toiletry bottles and some deodorant. So you can see here, very big space for storing heaps of gear and then small little slip pockets for your smaller items. Now, when it comes to duffels, this is actually probably the first traditional duffel style that we've seen from Bellroy. The Bellroy flight bag and the Bellroy weekender were slightly different variations to the traditional duffel type of silhouette. So here we have a pretty traditional opening here for a duffel. Lots of storage space at 30 liters of volume capacity and it only weighs 600 grams, so very light. Lightweight. Okay, so these are the bags on body. For your reference, I'm 5'10. This is the light day pack. This is the light sling. The light tote. and also the light duffel. Well, everyone, there you have it, the Bellroy Light Collection, a range of bags that are incredibly lightweight, but don't skimp out on functionality and quality in terms of materials, and also remains consistent with Bellroy's design language as well as their feature set. If you're interested in getting any of these bags or anything else that you might have seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below. If you use those affiliate links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel. So we really appreciate any support there. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, you can hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to our newsletter. But we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these bags? Do you have any bags from the light collection? And if you do, let us know how your mileage has been. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you want to see more videos from us or more videos on Bellroy, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Bellroy Light Collection. Take care, and we'll see you next time.